Tristan Beyer, agronomist with Winfield United. Today I'm out in Alfalfa Field, first week of September, and wanted to think about what we can do to get this alfalfa ready for bed. First thing is, you should be taking your last cutting alfalfa uh, by the first week of September, because if we get later than that, we subject the plant to increase injury for over the winter where it doesn't have enough energy put down in the root systems. By taking our uh, last cutting, the end of August or the first week of September, Based on typical frost dates, we'll have enough, you know, four or 500 GDUs to get the plants up uh, tall enough and put enough energy back down, down into the root system. So that should be done. The other thing I think about is uh, fall fertility. Over the course of the season, we've had some pretty good haymaking uh, weather. And, you know, the alfalfa requires a large amount of nutrients uh, per ton. You know, for example, potash, you know, 60 pounds of K2O per ton. And with the typical average five a ton per acre you know and there's some growers that are producing much more than that that'd be the equivalent of you know 100 pounds or uh, per ton of potash or 500 pounds per acre that's needed just to replace what's being removed not let alone what we need to do to build the soil test uh, values up the other thing you might notice in this stand behind me is uh, this was actually partially sprayed with uh, micronutrient uh, maxim boron as well as some fungicide and insecticide on the outside rounds so right where I'm standing or on the right side of the, the flag, you might notice it's a little darker green color compared to the center part of the field that was not applied in the, and is a little bit more pale yellow. As I bring these plants up, you might see the difference. The outside rounds, we have darker, greener leaves compared to that of the, the paler leaves. Might have a little bit of you know, boron deficiency as well as we see a little bit of uh, more leaf spot on some of those plants where uh, without the proper nutrition plants are just a little bit more vulnerable to disease in general and the reason that we discuss this is uh, you know fungicides insecticides or your know, nutrient programs and management systems really help retain those leaves the leaves are what's getting us the quality in alfalfa typical leaves have about 400 uh, relative feed value whereas the stems are only about 60 so if we can retain more of those leaves keep them healthy on the plant through harvest uh, will allow us to get you know higher quality alfalfa so when you're looking at uh, getting your alfalfa ready for for bed this winter and make sure you're taking proper uh, timings of your last cuttings as well as really look at your fertility programs take some uh, tissue samples uh, or soil samples to assess where your nutrient levels are uh, so that you can either make applications this fall or be prepared for uh, this next season when the plant gets off to a great start.